Hey, it's Joe with Joe Lee Farms. So today is kind of about sweet potatoes. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take some sweet potato cuttings. I've got sweet potatoes growing in these big pots right here, and I'm gonna plant a bunch in this garden over here I've got. So what I'm gonna do, you could actually cut these little, what we call slips off of here. And if you reach down and cut one of these off like that, I could just go stick this in the ground and it would grow. But I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So I wanna show you there's a lot of ways you can do this. The traditional method is to put a sweet potato in a jar of water with some toothpicks and let the slips grow out and then cut them off. But you can cut them off of existing plants that are growing in the ground. And again, you can just stick the end of this in the ground over there and it'll grow and uh, probably do just fine. But we like to give them a little bit of help. So I'm gonna show you how we get them started in some water. And then later on, once we've got them uh, rooted well in that water, we'll stick them in the ground. And I think they get a little bit better um, chance at life that way. And they just seem to grow a lot better. So I like to cut off all the little, um, so there's just a little bit of green growth on the end there. We don't need too much. And uh, that'll be fine. We'll stick this down in some water and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So come right back with us. Okay, we're back. We're over here at our little potting bench. Now, what we're doing, we're basically making clones off this original plant. So I have taken a, uh, a water jug. We get a bunch of these leftover plastic jugs. We recycle them. And I've gone all the way around here and drilled three quarter inch holes, filled it full of water. As you can see there probably, hopefully it focused on that. And so I've cut all my little stems here, cut most of the foliage off of them, and I just stick them into those holes. Now, Lisa mentioned during the little break we had, you need all these little nodules where you've clipped off those little limbs because that's where the roots are gonna grow out of. And so we just stick that down there to make sure the end of that is down in the water. And you can put several in each hole. You don't have to limit yourself to one per hole. And that's probably what we'll do is fill it up. Now, when you go to plant these in the soil, you're going to have, um, wherever you stick one of these stems in the ground and plant it, you're gonna have a cluster of sweet potatoes right there. And uh, so you'll probably get a couple of pounds per stem if, uh, if they fare well. And they just grow like crazy. Now, sweet potatoes is not a real fast growing crop. It'll probably take, um, you know, somewhere close to six months uh, to, to see any real production out of them. All right, now we're gonna have to double up and start sticking doubles in each hole. And that works just fine. It kind of helps hold them up here. And they don't have to be in strong sunlight like this. You need to leave them up there here in the shade like we have. And uh, you'll leave these about a week and they're going to have roots just all over the bottom of them. And I think it just gives them a little bit better start. The nice thing also is if you don't wanna plant right away, this is a good way to store them until you're ready to plant them somewhere while you prep some ground or something. So as it worked out, I got about two in each hole here. You can get three, I've had three or four in each hole, but that's a pretty good amount. Now, you don't wanna let this go dry. Uh, you wanna make sure you, your stems are always down in the water. So look at it every couple of days, make sure it's in good shape. I put the cap on top just to help keep evaporation down and that seems to work real well. Um, these always produce plenty of roots. Now, the reason I like to grow sweet potatoes is they are really rich in a lot of vitamins and nutrients. It is a wonderful product to eat, much better than even white potatoes. So uh, sweet potatoes, as I said, is a long growing crop. It's probably six months, but we always seem to have some in the ground here constantly so we could go out and dig some almost at will and there's usually sweet potatoes ready. And I don't worry about some of them being in the ground and getting too big and too old. They'll just re-sprout and start some more. So I just leave some grow year round and I can always go cut off more vines and start more sweet potatoes. So we're gonna come back in about a, uh, four or five days and we're gonna show you what these roots look like. And then we're gonna stick some in the ground and you're gonna get a firsthand look at exactly what it looks like. And hopefully someday I'll show you what the sweet potatoes look like that come out of this. Okay, thanks for watching. Get back to you soon. Okay, so we're back. 
Now, it's been about a week since you saw us plant these uh, sweet potato slips into this jug of water. And if you see real close, got little white hairs on the roots right there. So they are ready to plant. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna plant these slips into this bed that I've got right here behind me. Now, this is a hygge culture bed that we built a long time ago. We uh, added some more compost to it and we have um, let that compost sit a couple of weeks for a couple of reasons. I got a couple of problems and they are my dogs. <laughs> my one dog, if you got fresh compost and you put it in there, if there are any grub worms in it, she will incessantly dig until she finds those grub worms and dig them out. So it could be a good thing, unless of course you've got plants in there with it. So I like to let it sit a couple of weeks, make sure we get all the grubs out and the, our little hunter will get them out. And the other thing is my other dog likes the soft dirt, so she wants to bury her tennis balls and things in there. So I've got a, a two dog problem with that. So we have covered this with uh, chicken wire or poultry netting, however you want to call it. And then when it get all done planting this, we'll also put a piece of uh, netting over the top in an effort to keep the dogs out of our planting. And hopefully it'll work out real well. So I'm gonna show you how we plant these. It's real simple. I just take my finger, dig a little hole, put the slip in, cover it up real quick, and we'll get this bed planted. And I wanna show you one other option of planting that we can do with this. The locals do it this way. And I don't know, I think the results are probably pretty similar to what we're doing. But I'm gonna show you how to do this and uh, we'll get it wrapped up. Okay, let's get started. Okay, well that didn't take too long. So um, I put this cover on here, at least not put this on, and it's not necessarily for keeping bugs out in this instance, but for trying to keep the dogs out. Now they're gonna be a little um, preoccupied with this for a few days, because I do have organic fertilizer in there. They like that, they wanna go eat it. <laughs> it's a dog thing, I don't understand it. But anyway, so uh, we put that on just to try to keep them out, and we'll see how that works and uh, we may have to go back and plan B this thing, but we'll see. 
So one of the things I didn't show you is what they like to do, the, the locals here, they'll take a long vine of sweet potato uh, vine and they will make a little crown out of it, kind of weave it in. And then they will just lay that on the ground and cover it up with dirt and leave a few leaves sticking up. And the concept is that will grow little roots down all the way around and that you'll get more potatoes. Um, I don't know if you do or not. I, we've, we've experimented with that. But what you did see me do is I ran out of slips. I came over here and cut some fresh slips off of uh, our potted sweet potatoes over here. And I went ahead and stuck those in the ground. And so we should probably, I would say, you know, maybe 100 pounds of potatoes out of this little bed. And this bed is maybe 14, 15 feet long. And so uh, by, you know, two and a half feet wide. So we'll get a lot of potatoes out of this little area right here. It's a nice controlled environment. The dirt's real soft in here. Uh, the soil is a lot of compost. It's the logs and things in the very bottom down here that are decomposing and adding that fungal material that we need in there. So this should do really well. I do. I know you probably saw the little green plant here. This is a leftover uh, turmeric, or in Spanish, cocomina. So uh, we decided to leave that in there, let him grow, and uh, we'll harvest him soon. And it won't hurt the sweet potatoes, not even one bit. All right, so that's our video on uh, planting sweet potatoes from slips. And I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed if, you've, if you're already subscribed. Sometimes YouTube has a way of making that go away. So please check, share it with somebody you think that would enjoy this. Appreciate it. Ciao for now.